good day to you, one and all. I'm Axel Wilkinson, here with a quick look at Photo Key 5. Specifically, today we are going to take a look at a situation where we've imported our image into Photo Key, the green screen has been automatically removed, but our subject ends up a bit transparent. This isn't entirely uncommon, and can be caused by a variety of factors, but Photo Key is fully equipped to make correcting this situation quick and easy. Notice that this image is quite transparent along the right arm here, through the neck, and up in the hat. You can see that checkerboard pattern through there. If we turn the background layer on, you can see how much of that purple and blue color is showing through here in the tie as well. The first step I always take in this type of situation is to switch to foreground alpha view. Now, if you're using Photo Key 4 or earlier, in those versions, this is called matte view, but it performs the same function. It gives us a grayscale version of our image and everything that's gray is semi-transparent. So our goal is to adjust the key settings so that all the gray is gone. With Photo Key 5's new auto chroma key, you can very quickly remove the gray using the clip background and clip foreground settings. So to properly convey how quick and easy this adjustment is, I'm going to reset this entire tool set. We'll switch back to our original view. So this is just as if we'd imported the image and you can time me if you'd like. So go. So here's our imported image. We notice that we have some transparent areas and so we switch to foreground alpha view. We go over to our key settings. We adjust the clip background until all that black area is black. We bring the clip foreground down until all of our subject is white and done. Easy, right? It's also possible to make those adjustments without using the foreground alpha view. You can adjust these in the full color view as well, but it really does make it much easier to get the settings dialed in perfectly if you're using that alpha view. Transparency in your foreground is caused by high green values being present in your image. This could sometimes be due to the subject actually wearing a green color, such as in the tie with this image. But in this case, the more serious problem was due to the fact that the suit that I'm wearing was reflecting the green screen a lot. Even though my suit isn't green, the light reflecting off the green screen is coloring it heavy in the original photograph. So if you're running into this situation frequently, you might try to reduce the green spill in your photographs by keeping a minimum of six feet between your green screen and the subject and more distance is always better for avoiding spill. Lighting your green screen and your subject separately with different lights also helps. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this illustrates how easy it is to dial in the key in Photo Key, even when dealing with less than perfect images. For more tips of this sort, please subscribe to our channel as we have lots more on the way.